<clears throat> this is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City for the Xbox 360. I am Mr. Felix, and with me as always is Brenny and Menthol. Hi! And we are playing this game, which I saw a while ago. Yeah, yeah. 2012. Yep. This, uh, this, I think, came was coming out around the time that uh, Resident Evil 6 was coming out. So you can tell it's gonna be good. There was a time where Capcom just decided to throw fucking everything it could into just one solitary... Th into a bunch of games, hoping one shit would stick to the wall. Anywho... <clears throat> Time to press start. Yep, time to get this train wreck rolling. Hard drive. Do we have a? <laughs> do we have a continue campaign? Because let's let's just do. This. Yeah, let's just restart because uh, it's. More or less, uh, it was designed for the whole online multiplayer, so... Campaign... There we go. Private or... Yeah, let's, let's do private. It does This game anyway. <laughs> you know what Actually, I mean? you'd, you'd be surprised. And, uh, so, uh, you get to choose from a, uh, variety of different characters, um... Okay, so I can pick between Vector... Actually... Bertha, no, no, that's your team. Okay. That's Alright, uh, let's see, um... Spectre, a veteran of the Cold War, former spy Vladimir Spectre Bodrovsky. Okay, I've already lost interest. Um, this, uh, yeah, she's good for more. She's got the uh, assault weaponry, so got that. And each character comes with their own uh, special power that you can use in the game. You can purchase costumes. Oh, oh, where's my wallet? Where's here? You go, Capcom. Yeah, exactly. Hector Beltway Hivers is it? And, uh, uh, field eyes. scientist, I d don't know what the f I don't really know what the hell she does. Because I like how her name is Four Eyes. She doesn't even get a name. And we've got, uh, your medic. Uh, personally, my favorite's Vector because you can, uh, use a cloaking device and... His former master, Hunk. Okay, I'm picking him. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. He's and uh, let's see uh, what your uh, if we can choose any powers for you. Uh, sh All right. Uh, want to buy anything? Does any of this shit actually help? Uh, the camouflage does, especially when you uh, encounter a lot of the more human enemies, which are a pain in the ass to kill a lot of the time. Go. Hooray! Achievement unlocked! One trick pony. All it right. kind of describes Let's Capcom's... Let's purchase and improve that. I'm just gonna <laughs> go... It kind of describes Capcom's career. I'm just gonna go in here pretty blind. Oh, uh, that. there you go. And, uh, at the moment, you can, like... Let's see if we can buy anything. Probably not, though. Um... The Ravager. <laughs> uh, yeah, surprisingly work. enough, that's what the ladies call me. <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's what I call you. Oh, you're um, oh, oh. <gasps> Shotgun is always a good choice. Like I say, it's a classic. It oh, makes, yeah. It makes... You know what? You know what? Yeah. Alright, let's see what... Uh, if uh, Pistol selection. Damn! Not, uh, yeah, of course, I couldn't get the... Not I mean, yet. Not yet. But I don't think we're going to play enough this game enough to actually... I don't, I don't really... Four... Two, one. Happy New Year! Oh, wait. I, I'm glad that the game is at least counting me in, so that way I can get so I can get ready for the bullshit. And so, uh, the story pretty much takes place, uh, around Resident Evil 2 and 3 when, uh, the t the T virus and the G virus are Wait, this takes place during City. the 90s? Yeah. Yes. 1998. We can. <laughs> oh, I can have flashbacks now. Oh, uh, the years. back to when the games were actually good. The years of Clinton and all the wonderful <laughs> stuff. Whoa! You see that? What the fuck? You see that? that, that on hey, Hunk! Hi, Hunk! Oh, that just. Oh, okay, that, that I'm hard now. <laughs> because I love Hunk. 
I don't know. He, is, he lives up to the name. Jesus! Uh, Bertha's your your hair all right? Uh, nice goggles. Yeah, I don't think those goggles are at all practical. What the <laughs> fuck? Bertha, your hair is going into hyperspace. <laughs> Uh, uh, as a precaution, in case the mission goes horribly wrong, Bertha has a nuclear device that can be detonated to wipe out Raccoon City and all within it. She's she's like a predator. Oh my god. What the flying fuck is I, up with that head? So I guess we've seen our first glitch of the game. Uh, I want to see, is her Wait, hair alright? Wait, her head. Wait, where is uh, she? she uh, oh, it's back to normal. Damn it. Yeah. No. This is a new gene altering. I gotta love this. You know, she has the skin tight fucking leather outfit. Of course she does. I mean, the stupid thing is that's probably the best thing you should wear during a zombie apocalypse because it's hard to chew through. It's hard to grab. Yeah, I remember. I, I know it makes sense, but still. But he, yeah. I remember. There you go. What's with the kilt? Because tact <laughs> tactical kill, don't you know? I'm tactical kill. Gunny. That was a close one. <laughs> oh, get you out. almost, you almost said my real name, in which we'd have to kill our entire audience. I know. Glad it didn't come to that. Hey, hey, look. What, what's oh, this? yeah. Uh, first, first aid, aid spray, which you can uh, use whenever oh, you want. Oh, there's a. There's yeah, a... it's an automatic sticky cover system. So. Oh, this is gonna be good. Um, uh, some ammo behind uh, the desk if you wanted, but I think you're all right for now. Oh yeah, stun grenade. Where, where's my tank controls? No, it's all uh, it's all modern. We're all we're all future and all tactical now. This is this is the future. Of me. Oh uh, god, yes. I mean, I'm also who the hell needs atmosphere and tension? I'm also confused why he's wearing a hoodie. Nice. Oh, these things. I remember these. Oh yeah, the, the hunters. The hunters. The hunters yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, here we go. Time to get to co cover. Just Time to get to my fucking way. Okay, here we go. Game uh, gameplay. Did I you ever think that you'd be facing like other humans that shoot at you in a Resident Evil game? The first Evil thing game? you find in a Resident Evil game. Okay, so so uh, I've uh, I've played this game more than I care to admit. So I know how shitty it is. Uh, so I've, we've got menthol uh, behind the controls at the moment. Uh, what do you think so far? What do I think so far? That I have a distinct lack of being able to vault over cover. Uh, yeah. At least you I won't don't know the controls for it. Okay. Uh, try pressing A or something. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, sun grenade. Hey, that's what I need. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Shame it only worked for like two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, the stun grenades don't last long. So we're here in order to try and take the G virus and secure the Birkin kid. Well, is it Doctor Birkin or is it Sherry? Oh, it's uh, it's it's, it's Bert. Yeah, you it it's uh, both. it takes place around the time a uh, hunk uh, kills well kills uh William Birkin. Oh, okay. And when he turns into uh. But but I'm pretty sure that's not how it happened. At least I'm not sure. Did I? You just used up your health item. <sighs> okay, it's really unclear in the uh, like D-pad menu. Press I feel. uh no the D-pad is uh your items and stuff. Uh, press the left bumper. There, weapon change. Oh, uh, okay. For some reason they have the left bumper and stuff like you know why or something yeah, I like need that. Yeah, pistol right now. Really Except look at the look at the dot. Yeah, like there are games that do laser sight well, well well enough. Like for example, Max Payne Three. And the stupid thing is, uh, your bullets aren't going to where the you know the little aim yeah, yeah. dot is. It's going for where the fucking laser the point is. The, the reticle is kind of trying to track. Well, the laser sight is trying to track where the reticle is, and it kind of throws off aim a little bit. And it's, it's a huge inconvenience, especially so, in these so, big fucking firefights. So, I've got a question. So uh, why, go ahead, Brenny. Why should I care about anything that's going on right now? Because it's... Because it's... Gunplay and really tactical, right? That's what the I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's still some horror to this. I mean... Uh, Spectre? Uh, Spectre, uh, uh spe you, you wanna get okay, the fuck down? Uh, yeah, okay, there we go, you're, you're back. 
It took him a hundred bullets or so to the back to realize, oh, wait a second, I'm being shot at! I like to think that he was just kind of out there going, uh, you know what? It's a, I need to stretch my back for a sec. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this will... And, uh, green herbs you use on the spots, which is why you, uh, need to hang on to the, uh... First aid sprays when you get them? Yep. But refilling ammo doesn't... It's a problem. Considering Not they just gave me a giant goddamn cache of them. <laughs> yeah, this feels like I should... Uh, this feels like I could be playing a better game with a similar premises. Yeah. Like, is there any real reason to use the melee in this game? Uh, not? zombie... It, it comes in handy for zombies so you don't waste ammunition. Alright. Uh, although you have to watch out sometimes because there is an infection aspect to the gameplay. Where if uh, you become infected, you have to find the antivirus spray in time before uh, you turn. turn and you have to start from your last checkpoint. How 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 sparse are the checkpoints? Are they are, are they dense enough uh, so that it's not a problem? It varies. Sometimes uh, it's good. Sometimes you'll just throw your controller because it sent you all the way fucking back somewhere. Yeah, like one thing that I'm noticing with games that are of this ilk but are not necessarily good like max Payne 3 I, I i'm sorry i have to keep you know referencing oh no it, it go right ahead but max Payne 3 gives you that sense that when you're in the gunfight it's terse and if you you know don't stay in cover you're going to get fucking shot exactly the, I'm, I'm getting that same sort of just sort of vibe like you could really take your time while you're shooting like i've been shot at multiple times and this is a normal like difficulty and so far, look what they've done. Yeah, they really haven't done jack shit. I suppose this is the beginning I levels. I, I, yeah. Le <laughs> uh, thanks, Bertha. Uh, thanks, Bertha. Uh, thanks, thanks with that lovely spray over there. Okay. And uh, later on, though, they get better, but it becomes more in the broken sense where they will not miss you, and it becomes a pain in the yeah, ass. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'm getting a very ride to hell sort of vibe right now. Yeah. <laughs> because. M much that like, is much like Brenny. I can take my time right now and aim and shoot for the face. Yeah, the AI for the enemy is. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at this. They're. I, I can stand for an elite squad of special forces soldiers. They do a shit poor job at surviving. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's your first initiation into being a spec ops soldier. Your first initiation is that. They they shoot at you and you have to stand there and take it like a man until. Uh, speaking of spec ops and other games, uh, we could be playing instead of this piece of shit. Spec ops the line. Uh, so, okay, that's one. Oh, uh, and the stupid thing is, uh, the AI stupidity uh, works both ways because uh, on single player oh, mode, oh. your AI compatriots are fucking morons. What just happened? Oh. Cutscene? Oh, that went fast! Um, I like um, how he says that just as we were using hand to hand. Do we combat. have to use like the Deus Ex, like you pulled off at a, a melee attack, like transition? Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. I hold myself down. Shoot him! Ah! I think it's time for the. There you go. Oh, he's... Jesus, these guys take, like, a thousand hits. And I, the way you... When you hit in the... with me, When you hit with melee, it has all the grace of... It feels... A drunk. Yeah, it just feels like the slaps feel really wimpy, and I don't really... Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you get, get the green herb, man? Give me that herb, friend. Uh, A. There, there we go. go. And, uh, there's a health spray. More herb. Oh, God. Well, I'm looking at this, wondering where this all went wrong, and then realizing that the Genesis was what was wrong. The stupid thing is, is that, uh, this, there were, there are actually some pretty good ideas in this game, but the execution is just so yeah, horribly I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm noticing that they have a lot of interest. Virus. Be good. But the thing is, you didn't have to relate it to Raccoon City. I think that's it, what it, really kind of... It definitely would have... 
I would, I'm not gonna say it would have been a better game on its own, especially if it was still like this. But it would but... have benefited a little bit. I, I just don't know, man. Like, having this be a Resident Evil game kind of feels like a slap in the face. Uh, walk up to the door. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, hunk. Apparently he was just standing on the <laughs> He's other He's like, side. what the hell's taking you guys so long? Approach. This game really makes me want to be hunk, though. Because even though I'm as tactical looking as him, he's like already like 10 steps ahead of me. Oh, and so for like a, a little bit of a uh, oh. mythology thing, if you stay by the door, you can listen to the conversation they had in uh, Resident Evil 2. I remember this. I'll give them credit. They actually got all the lines done. Do I see, like, this door get, like, bashed up, or... Not yet. Not yet. Okay, this is cool. Okay, let's move out. Alright, time to... Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, crap. Okay, Birkin's military... He didn't have... He didn't have special forces. Okay, this is this is one. Okay, now. Okay, I will I will admit I it does take liberties and it's okay in terms of like you know the material. No. So there's a bunch of like, I mean, cause well for one the none of you you or your team were in. <laughs> okay. a really good cover mechanic. Yeah. Okay, look, no, Assassin's Creed takes liberties. Okay. This just fucking shits all over Le Resident Evil lore right now. That's a much better way if of putting Birkin it. If Birkin had military backup... Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. If, Want me uh, to take over for yeah, now? Yeah, take, right. take the reins. <clears throat> I if, need it. If Birkin had uh, special forces on its side, why would he take the T-Virus to begin with? Which turned him into the monster. Why didn't he just send in backup to help him out? Just jack the virus and then book it. Gosh. So yeah, it, this definitely feels like so much of a slap in the face because it's a Resident Evil game. Oh crap, I'm back to the shotgun. I, it might be pretty okay here, though. Didn't mind. Okay. Maybe. Well... You are in close quarters. Okay, let's move out. And then the door. Shh, it, mother it always jars the camera in another way. Fuck. Ah, uh, it's pump out. Oh, you. Why is it? okay? Okay, I guess this is really video game shotgun. Yeah, it's. Oh god. Oh, oh assault right. rifle. Move your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bertha. <laughs> Thanks, Bertha. All right, I'm trying to get. Like, she's just like the magical fucking fairy that. Flew. Somebody need help? Basically, there you go. Pick up. Come that on, ball. pick up the fucking. Oh fuck sake. Okay. All right, here we go. I think Bertha's down. I'm not sure. Bertha. Uh, no, Y'all, Spectre. oh. Spectre's not doing. Bertha, Bertha you wanna help? <laughs> you're the you're the fucking medic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting some Sheva AI vibes off of this. I swear, I shit you not, at a... Uh, well, we can't say anything about that, because that's racist. As if. Uh, during one of my playthroughs of this, uh... One of the AI... One of the enemies threw a grenade, and I shit you not, all of my teammates ran towards it. <sighs> and they all got incapacitated. Oh, this yeah. is how good the AI they have is. An incapacitation. I like how the AI it. just kind of teleports awake. Yeah. Bertha, where are you getting all these health sprays? From her kilt. From her tactical oh. kilt. Don't oh, you know? I, I thought they smelled funny. All right, pick up ammo. Okay, I guess I have to get a different gun for. Like this feels like if you tried to mix Left for Dead with War. And failed miserably. Repeat, there has been a security breach. Avoid contact. Okay, not there. there. Oh wait, there's a health spray. Uh, where? Go back to where. Is Turn that... around. Incendiary grenade. Okay, and oh. there we go. Thanks, Brenny. No problem. Okay. All right, now to keep on going. 
All right, elevator. I've always liked these kind of stats. Same here. Yeah. Although I've grown to dislike them because of this game. Because this game overloads you with these, or yeah, um, you have moments like this where you have to fight for your life on them with very limited ammunition, especially when the liquors come aboard. Gee, it's not like I. Life that did that. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Alright, okay, gonna grab uh, another grenade. Oh, wait, oh, no. no, they did that same type of, like, elevator fight scene in Resident Evil 4. Oh, shit, that's right. Yeah, with the Ganados. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, and here we've got uh, Birkin, who's transformed now. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This was in Resident Evil 4. Yep. <laughs> Except he looks a yeah. lot st stupider. You, you're looking good, William. You're looking real good. He kind of looks Do like. Do you like my '90s boy band haircut? He kind of looks like the. His face kind of reminded me of Al Oni. Yeah, yeah. Just really, not scary, but just malformed. <laughs> So, we've got our first boss section. Oh, shit. You gotta kill William Birkin, or...? Well, we've gotta hold him off. Oh, oh it's this scene. Yeah. It's this scene in the RE log. Come on. Yeah, no. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Come on. Don't forget it. Yeah, I remember... And, uh, I remember playing this and hating every second of it. Yeah, this part in particular is a pain in the ass. Because Birkin, he can shrug off a lot, pretty much all of your bullets and keep coming at you, and you have to, I think, wait for the doors to open at the end of the hall, so you have to hold them off long enough, but he, he uh, can't be held back well enough, and he, you won't have, you only have your one health spray, so if you die here, you have to start the whole thing all over again. Um, and... Okay. Come that, on. We have these kind of valves so that people can operate them immediately. As an okay. Emergent, okay. You know what? I should I should really try to stop validating this. Oh, hi, William. <laughs> how does it? How, uh, how is it possible he looks worse than what he did in 1998 when Resident Evil 2 came out? Yeah. How does he look worse? The 1998 oh, graphics. He, he looks even worse oh, right. than actual uh, game graphics. Shoot G. Birkin's eye. Gangsta Birkin. And this is, of course, as... Oh. Yeah, you have to do this. A lot. A lot. I'm getting that sort of res House of the Dead 3 vibe where you have to, you know, shoot at that Shoot at, like, guy. a certain weak point for until, like, the health bar runs out. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. The reason I'm saying this is that you're dealing with, well, maybe not oh, as a large, but a rather large undead monstrosity wielding a large bludgeon. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, we need to try and beat uh, House of the Dead 3. So we can get... Only if we can get to House of the Dead 2. That's what I'm... Oh, shit! Oh, Jesus. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Okay, so why did you end up teleporting down that hallway when... Oh, wait, no. You're advancing, aren't you? Oh, yeah. also fire. Why Gosh. are your teammates running faster than you? I was gonna... That's the thing! They don't help you fend them off! They l they'll leave you to rot. They're just oh, okay. and also oh so shit! I should have saved that. So it's just mainly objective based. AI. Also, now I have to, I pr uh, pressed uh, A to open the door, but now I have to wait for the door to <sighs> finally. For a second there, I thought you said A to open the door, and I'm like, Ada's in this? She is actually. Oh. She's one of the cameo appearances from the or the original game. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's not as cool as it sounds. You know what? Yeah, since we just saw William Birkin and he's breaking lore like a motherfucker. And yeah. I'm... Oh, pff, great. Yeah, again? Uh, oh, yeah, another... Oh, oh, they have the dogs! Yeah, the Cerberus are here. Hey, look, it's that dog. Oh, shit! 
Uh, alright, uh, Menthol, what was the grenade button again? Uh, right bumper? Left bumper? Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. Right bumper it was. Oh! Okay. It's quality AI. There were, there were, there were games around this time. There were games in 2012 that had better AI dodging. May I remind you that The Last of Us came out like a year later. Yeah, you know... Looking at this game, I feel like the comparisons I keep making, they feel, they feel so fruitless. <laughs> Max Payne came out in 2012. Oh, Max shit. Payne And yeah. it did a much better job than this. But the thing is, I guess... Well, I don't know how long this was in development when I think uh, about it. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. There we go. Down, boy. No treat for you. Yes. Alright. Uh, like, how long was this in development? Uh... I'm gonna say that however long it was, it was not worth it. It was not either worth it or long enough. Yeah. Um, I... I'm gonna choose to believe that they tried to rush it out in time for, like, you know, RE6. I Just so that they'd have, you know... The funding? Yeah. For an RE6? Right. I, I just genuinely don't feel like you need to fight Umbrella Corp guards. Because I feel like they should have just been deaded because of the undead. Oh, and uh, there's one thing that they tried to use as a big selling point for this game. And that was uh, that you'd be able to change uh, the history of the events that happen in uh, RE2 and 3. Specifically, whether or not you kill or ally yourself with Leon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. And, uh, I actually- and, uh, I think earlier in the year I finally beat this piece of shit, and you finally get to the choice, and it's- it ain't worth it. It's- It doesn't really matter. It's a huge letdown, because it all comes down to a simple button choice. Event. Quick time events! I really? Feel like I'm really in danger because it takes a really long time for him to swing that shit. Run away from Oh shit! Oh game. fuck's sake! There isn't a sprint button, is there? There is, but there's no like. I don't think there's not really oh, a way. I just leave you in the dust. You before. motherfuckers! Oh, Ber Hi, Bertha. Bertha, you've been my saving grace so far throughout all this. Please Wait. help me! You know what I also find just annoying about the the whole Resident Evil 6 and Operation Raccoon City? What? Is that they have bosses that you can't beat that you just kind of have to hold off. Oh, also, uh, you know that, uh, the doors that we have to go through? You have to press A to make them, uh, begin the opening. See, fuck! Uh, oh, God. Do, do you want to keep going? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it one last shot. All right, if uh, it. if I die one more time, uh, I'm gonna just say fuck it. Yeah, like. But yeah, um, you notice how the doors you have to go through. Here's the thing I that fucked me over the first time that I uh played the game, is that um, y to make the doors start to open, you have to go up and press A. But you'd think that when you like you know just get to the doors they would, like, open or something, but no. So you could be standing there holding off Birkin for, like, forever. Because it doesn't really... Because you, you didn't know that you were supposed to open the fucking door. And Bir even when you... And also, by the time you figure this out, when you press it, it takes another forever for the door to finally open. Uh, so doing, like... For our first mission for a game, this should it's be... It's a pain in the ass! I suppose they're trying to throw you in here and be like, yeah, this is really Resident Evil 2 because we got Birkin chasing after you. But the thing is, it could have been fun if- oh, fuck. If it, like, you know, weren't so broken. Alright. Alright. Oh, and you can't use the spray while you're sprinting. 
doesn't make sense because if you were spraying while sprinting, it would still like blast towards you. Yeah. If you're spraying in front of yourself. All right, let's, let's try and get this. Sh All right, if I can. Hold off until. Yeah, hold off until. These are just artificial game in game extenders. I feel. Because the shotgun is shit at this. R oh, here uh, we go. Okay, hi. Oh, fuck, I think we have to keep doing this. Oh, hey, ammo. Hey, look, ammo, yeah. Too bad I don't really... Yeah, fuck it. Oh, come on! Right. So, I guess, you know... Uh, the, the worst part about this is that, you know, for a franchise that was so awesome back in 19... Like, back... Even in 2005, they just shot themselves in the foot, at, like, for this and RE6. Yeah. Yeah, at least RE5 had the RE had yeah. some appeal in that, for example, Chris Redfield punches a goddamn boulder in a volcano. And what is not amazing about that? And it actually, like, especially if you have a friend for it, it's, um, it's actually pretty fun. It's, it's very playable, actually. But the thing is, and I think that might have made this a bit more tolerable if you could, like, you know, have a buddy nearby. I mean, the only way you can do co-op on this is if you go online, but... Yeah. Ah. <sighs> You know, I think this is as good a time as any to stop. And uh, the back of the box, uh, the tagline reads, All roads lead to hell. And after playing this game, I can agree with that. I can agree that a lot of roads that we've taken are all leading to some sort of video game hell. Uh, you know, uh, Capcom, they, uh, they've, kind of, they've hinted that they're trying to... They're, for like the next RE game, they're gonna try and go back to the to its roots. But you know, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wait until uh, they show some gameplay or something because or until then, this is pretty much my impression of the series as it is now. Or just wait until the Evil Within, which even call me actually has a good actually idea yeah of uh, yeah go go for actually yeah fuck what I said before go for the Evil Within. Alrighty, and with that, we are signing off. This is the Criminal Gamers saying like and subscribe if you like what you see and want more videos. I'm Mr. Felix. I'm Brenny. I'm Enthel. And we are out of out. here. Out.